This is Rise. Let's lock in with the goal of changing one life at a time, yours. Together, let us rise up, inspire, strengthen, and elevate our minds. It's time to rise on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Hello, my name is Dr. Saren Haran, and welcome to Rise. Today, we are going to talk about weight loss and how you can overcome and lose weight. My guest today is Laura Piquette, who is the founder and CEO of Laura Piquette Ministries and the Pastor's Wives Empowerment Network. She's also co-pastor of Destiny Faith Church, co-founder and president of Pickett Outreach Ministries. She is a wife, a mother, minister, author, psalmist, recording artist, and more. She attended Spelman College. She has worked in corporate America for 17 years plus, but now 30 years in ministry doing work for the Lord. She has appeared on TBN in Atlanta and WATV. She has had her own struggle to lose weight for 12 years and lost a total of 80 pounds over time. She will share her journey, discuss commitment requirement, and how you surely can get over anything and you will win. She is here today to encourage, inspire, motivate you, and change your mindset and help you to get your confidence back. Laura Piquette, welcome to Rise here on The Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Thank you. So good to be with you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> we are, we're happy to hear it, that you are here. We want to talk hey, about our lovely weight loss and how you could help us with that information. Yes. yes. Now, I yes. know you attended Spelman College. What was your major? What did you major in in Spelman? Believe it or not, economics. <laughs> and so let me just say, it's called being lost and have no clue. <laughs> I mean, my hair literally, Dr. Ron, fell out because I was wow. clueless. I didn't know what my purpose was in life. And, you know, the sad part is I should have known it had to do with music or ministry because that's what I had done all my life, but I didn't. So I went to Spelman uh, to major in business, and they didn't have a major so economics was the closest, and I minored in business. But the bottom line, I just didn't know why I was on the earth. <laughs> Let's just be real, real. Till you found out. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> now, you worked in corporate America for 17 years. Why yeah. did you decide to do a change into ministry full time? Well, I think it's actually back to the same thing. I um, really was clueless and I actually ended up at Bell South uh, because that was the only job uh, that I could find that was interesting after I graduated. Uh, and I ended up in sales and uh, sales was really, I think, a part of the call on me. Uh, you know, as a minister, I'm selling the gospel. I'm selling Jesus and uh, that he's able to do these things. So that really wasn't a complete loss. Um, but it really was not my calling. And so I ended up in management. Uh, and then one day I remember staring off into the blue. Uh, and I remember a friend of mine saying, you just weren't present. And I, I said, what do you mean? She said, you're just in another world. And I really realized that that was not where my heart was. And so I uh, began to seek the Lord. I had began to do some things in ministry. And um, I just felt him saying, time is up. I made a step of faith. Uh, and I never looked back and I am filled with joy and fulfillment and I'm just so grateful I found my purpose in life. Amazing. Finding your purpose is very important. Now, yes. so we are going to get into the topic of weight loss, which okay. I'm sure many individuals who are listening are excited to know, you know, how to go about that first step. So talk yes. to us about weight loss. What age groups do you currently provide services for? Well, the group that generally um, likes what I talk about probably are within the age of 40 and up um, because I deal with weight loss not so much for people that can get on a quick diet and lose the weight. That's not really my audience. Uh, if you can do that, then you don't really have a real struggle. I deal with women that have struggled with weight. And when I say struggle, I mean they have tried almost every diet, as I did. And uh, they may get a few pounds off and then back up they go. 
Uh, and it's been not something that happened one year, but it's year after year after year. Or just finding yourself even in one year where you just can't get that breakthrough. Um, and so one thing I do want to clarify is that I probably have dealt with weight all of my life. Uh, the difference and why get overweight came into place is because I couldn't get it all uh, like I used to. And I would go on a diet, lose the weight, do some exercise, and back in the dress I would go. And then one day I could not uh, get it off. And then when I struggled, uh, maybe lost 20 pounds, back up I would go. And so in that 12-year period, three times I was able to get maybe 20 pounds, 25 pounds. And let me say that they were urgent issues. You ever needed to get in public, so you've got to get <laughs> right. it off. <laughs> Absolutely. And a I had to do, yeah, you know, big birthday. Uh, and those were the motivations, but I just couldn't keep it off. And that's where I realized this is a real battle, one that I had never faced, and I didn't even know people were facing. Uh, and I had to seek the Lord. And that's where Get Off, uh, Get Over Away was birthed from, from the struggle. Now, every person listening, I'm sure, could relate to setting this goal of weight loss. However, it can be challenging. Now, yeah. what are some key things you believe must be in place in order to be successful? Okay, well, number one, and I think, uh, well, not think, this was what was the change for me. In the past, I had only focused on the outside and doing things for the physical body. So trying to change what I eat and, you know, exercise and drinking water. And those things are important. Uh, but generally, I have found when we're really struggling with weight is more to it than that. And so, as you know, we are not just a one part being. We are spirit, soul, and body. And as I began to seek the Lord, I had to realize that it was what was going on in my soul, in my emotions, in my thoughts, uh, but also what was going on in my spirit. Uh, and so this is the difference uh, that I think sometimes when people are really facing struggles, uh, I like to say it this way, it may not be just what you're eating, it may be what's eating you. And until we get to the root of what's bothering me, what what is concerning me, what am I struggling? stressed about? How do I feel about life? How do I feel about my future? Uh, until we deal with those issues, I think we're going to continue to try to turn to food to help satisfy those things. Right. So there obviously has to be some discipline, some planning. And so did you write oh, down yeah. calories? How do you how do you keep track to ensure oh. that you are doing the right thing? Very good. As a matter of fact, I think this is one of the major keys to breakthrough. Uh, I began to write down what I was eating. Uh, you know, the Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And sometimes we think that's just the word, but that's anything. So if I don't have a knowledge of how much money I'm spending, then I'm going to mess up. Well, the same is happening with food. If I don't have a knowledge of what I'm putting in my body, how many calories it is, uh, with Weight Watchers, it was how many points, then I really can't get to an expected end. It's almost like having a budget. And anytime you go over budget, you're going to get in trouble. You end up bankrupt. I call it weight loss rub. Right. <laughs> you know, you just got to keep up with it. So, yes, yeah. writing it down. I know it takes a lot of discipline. Uh, and I'll be honest with you. I found that knowing what it costs before I ate it would change my mind about the choices that I made. So I found that very, uh, very enlightening. It's one of my keys in my book. <laughs> I agree with you. Now, many of us, including myself, a lot of people want a quick weight loss. What good oh, yeah. advice can you share? What are some real talk do you want to talk to those people who want that quick weight loss? Yeah, I know. I want it to. We all want it to. <laughs> we live in the quick microwave uh, lifestyle. We want it fast. I wish. And let me say this. There are some diets out there that people can go on and is it just like that? But guess what? It's going to come back just like that. Uh, you know, one thing that I had to learn and, uh, you know, I lost 50 pounds in one year. And I'll be honest with you, had someone said you're going to lose 50 pounds in one year, I probably would have said, no, I don't want to do this. Uh, but it was losing a pound a week that made all the difference for me. Uh, and when you lose it slow and steady and you're consistent with it, uh, then it doesn't come back as quick. And you also establish uh, the disciplines that you need to stay consistent uh, to get to that expected end. So one step at a time, one day at a time, one week at a time. 
Absolutely agree. Now, Mm -hmm. you honestly believe in order for one to be successful in losing weight, you have to have a desire to want to lose Mm -hmm. weight. Speak to me about that. Oh, yeah, that's that's a biggie. Uh, You know, I I learned something. Uh, There's a scripture in Psalms 37 uh, that says that God would give us the desires of our heart. And, uh, you know, when I heard that scripture, I really thought it meant that what I desired, God would give it to me. And I do think he would do that. Uh, But what was life changing for me was to find out that that also meant God gave me the desire. And uh, and of course, these are godly desires, not something that (laughs) would not be of God. Uh, But when he gives us that desire, it represents the power and the ability to accomplish that desire. Uh, The word desire actually represents power. And so when there's a desire to lose weight or desire to accomplish a goal or to reach a certain level in your life, that very desire means the power power and the ability to get there is present and available to you. And so desire is everything. And I want to say to anyone that's listening out there, if you desire, I mean, a real desire to lose weight, then you have the ability and the power to get there. And I believe God will guide you and direct you. I believe you're probably listening because you have that desire and he wants to help you. So yeah, desire is everything. Agree with you. Now, Lord, you are listening to Rise on the Voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHBC. My name is Dr. Saren Heron, and today we're talking with Laura Pickett, who is the founder and CEO of Laura Pickett Ministries and Pastor's Wife Empowerment Network, co-pastor of Destiny Faith Church, co-founder and president of Pickett Outreach Ministries, a wife, mother, minister, author, psalmist, recording artist, and much more attended Spelman College. She has worked in corporate America for 17 years and now 30 years in ministry work, has appeared on TBN in Atlanta and WATV. She has had her own personal struggle to lose weight for 12 years and lost a total of 80 pounds over time. She will share her story, discuss commitment requirement, and how you surely can get over anything and you will win. She is here today to encourage, inspire, and motivate you to change your mindset and help you get over your confidence. Now, Laura, I know we've been talking and everybody's probably so excited (laughs) about what we're talking about, but you honestly believe in order for one to be successful in losing weight you have to have this desire you Mm -hmm. have to want to make that change have that discipline what are some tips that you could give us that you had to do you know we talked about the calorie calorie count but what discipline and desire you had to have to really overcome um, your challenges Yes. Well, you know, another uh, key word that starts with the D is decide. Uh, You have to make a decision that I'm going to do this. And it's not a fun thing to do. But if you really have the desire, then that next step is decide. Uh, And that means, you know, when you look that word up, it really means when you break it up, I saw it as get on the side of winning. So you have to make up your mind that I'm going to take the steps that need to be taken. I'm going to choose an eating plan. I'm going to start exercising. Uh, I'm going to get the disciplines in place. I'm going to start dealing with the bad habits. Uh, And I will say this, you got to change your mind. Uh, Mindset is so imperative. Uh, The Bible talks about as a man think, if so is he. And one of the, uh, the ways we have to begin to think is that I can do this. I have to believe that I can do it. No matter how many times I fail, no matter how, how long I've been dealing with the struggle, I have to believe that this can change. You know, the Bible says, uh, if thou canst believe, all things are possible. The key word is if. So can I believe? Yes, I can. It's an act of my will. I can just decide I'm going to do this. Uh, once I make that decision and that desire is there, it's just a matter of finding the plan and keeping focus. And I will add one more thing is setting the goal. Uh, I think this is real important. Sometimes people will say, I want to lose some weight. Well, if you lose two pounds, you've lost some weight. (laughs) That really won't get you where you're trying to go. You need to decide how much weight do you want to lose. And I believe this was really key for me, Dr. Ron, because before I would say I want to lose some weight. So I lose 10 pounds 
and then back up, I would go. But I made a decision with this that I was going to lose 70 pounds. That was my set goal. I decided how, how much that was, what was the weight I was going to weigh. I was holding on to the 10 pounds I'd already lost. That's what caused the 80. And I'm telling you, because that vision was in front of me, you know, the Bible says without a vision, we perish. We throw off restraints. Right. So if you want to lose 70 pounds, you got to see that. I know it's hard to say, oh, that's a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. Yes. But of go course. ahead and put it in your vision. And once you get that vision, I'm telling you, you'll begin to drive to it and nothing will stop you. So almost if you, if you could see it, you could do it. <laughs> there you go. If you can see it, you can do it. That is so key. Yes. <laughs> so now we know you do, you know, you help individuals to help them lose weight. You do one in one, you do group sessions, you do coaching. Why yes. do you believe having coaching is a key element to weight loss? Um, I believe because, number one, it took me 12 years going through this struggle that God was finally able to show me how to turn around in 12 months. So consider 12 years kind of lost in the wilderness, trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what's the steps, what do I need to do, what's going on, and then in 12 months, losing 50 pounds. So what a coach does is, because I've been down the road, and I know the pitfalls, I know the challenges, because I went through them 12 years, I can cut the time for someone else. So they don't have to take years of going around the same mountain to get where I got. I can show them the quick way to get there. So that's the main thing a coach can do. Now, for those that might be listening to the program, college students, other audience, why Mm -hmm. do you believe, um, you know, faith, you know, connects to how, you know, you could help someone with themselves to even meet this goal? You said how faith can help them? Yeah. How do you believe in, you know, that faith. Yes. Well, you know, you have to have confidence in your ability. Uh, and for me, it was confidence also in God. And, you know, it was an interesting question that he asked me one day. Uh, I said to him, I said, Lord, I have confidence in you. I know you can help me with anything. And he turned around and he said, but do you have confidence in you? And I went, wow. And it was almost like, yes, I, there are things I can do, but I need you to cooperate with me. And I know need you to believe uh, that you can. And so the Bible says all things are possible if you believe. Faith is the substance of whatever you're hoping for. So if someone is hoping for something that looks impossible, believe it or not, just believing that you can do it can turn everything around. I mean, all things really are possible right. if we believe. Of and I, I, if you don't mind, I want to say a little bit more about that. I'm feeling somebody yeah. really needs to hear this. <laughs> no problem. You know, when it, when it sounds like it's impossible, then anybody can give up. But if you believe that it's possible, notice it's if you believe. And it's not about what somebody else believes. It's about what you believe. So I just want to encourage your listeners that if they're listening, I believe that God wants to help them. If this is a desire, I believe this show has been sent to encourage them. So just believe and then the way will be made and he will begin to guide you. Now, I know many people when they gain weight, whether male, I know we've talked a lot about females because that's Uh who you really help. But male and female, they may feel down, right? They're not motivated. They have fear. They're ashamed. There's some guilt. What would you want to tell them today? That um, tomorrow doesn't have to be today. Uh, To not allow yourself to get stuck, to not give up on yourself. You know, for me, that was, I think, the greatest struggle. And I I feel the anointing right there because I think oftentimes when life is hard and things are not working and we're discouraged, it's easy to give up. Uh, Anybody can give up. I want to say to those that are listening, though, all you got to do is just believe that it's possible. And that would give you the strength to begin to come up, begin to see yourself in a different place. Begin to see yourself the way you want to be. Get a different picture. Get a picture of yourself maybe when you were at that weight. Or if you never had that, then get a picture of someone else. Put your face on it. Get a vision. Okay. Right, right. You know, God told Abraham, look from where you are, northward, southward, eastward, westward. You got to look from. Can't keep looking at. Look from where you are and know tomorrow can be a different day from today. Now, I know you do coaching. And as you know, some people may not be able to afford coaching sessions. Yes. 
Yes. And so what resources can they start? What small baby steps? I know you mentioned about, again, re- seeing yourself, believing in yourself, have an image, have a picture. What yes. other tips you could give based on your experience and what you did to help motivate and take away some of those similar feelings that you may have felt at that time, that point yes. in time? Uh, I would encourage them, uh, you know, uh, the Bible says we call those things that be not as though they were. Speaking is really, really powerful. Speaking and thinking are two key things that will change our life. It can either derail us or it can take us where we want to go. So I would say to anyone that's listening, number one, start guarding your thoughts. Watch what you're thinking. You can't sit and think negative and have positive results. So anybody can change their mind. We all can. Nobody can stop us from changing our mind. We can all decide right now. I'm going to believe. I'm going to think positive. I'm going to think that I can. So thoughts are imperative. But also the other piece is what we speak out of our mouth. So don't talk about yourself. Don't talk down about yourself. Don't speak negative about yourself. Tell yourself you're beautiful because you are. And just because we want to be better or want to improve doesn't mean that we're not good and that we're not beautiful. Value who you are. Know your worth. And just see that as a goal of improving, improving your health. To, you know, and, and I will say this. When you lose weight, which is a goal, it also gives you strength to know you can accomplish another goal. Right. You know, I believe uh, for my book, Get Overweight, it's not just about weight. It's about weight winning at life that is the subtitle of my book because i don't believe it uh, just about how i look on the outside it's about what god called me to do and sometimes the weight is just trying to hold me back from the greater calling on my life so i would say speaking and thinking are really keys in setting goals absolutely now why do you think forgiveness plays a role in weight loss Mm. share that with (laughs) us Connect yes, us. it is a biggie. Uh, you know, uh, the Bible says, talks about in Mark chapter four about letting it go. Uh, and I don't know if you've ever heard, but I've even on TV heard people talking. And you ever heard anybody say it was like a weight lifted? Yes, well, absolutely. when we're carrying things in our heart, uh, things that are on our mind, but emotions, wounds that we have, when we're carrying the weight of feelings and, and all that negativity, it weighs us down. And this is why Get Overweight is winning at life from the inside out. Because actually, to be honest with you, I didn't realize I was dealing with some unforgiveness in my own life. Uh, As a minister of the gospel, and I teach about it, I know how imperative it is. Uh, You know, when you hold somebody else down, you're really holding yourself down. I teach about it all the time. And I didn't do it intentionally. I thought I was free. But it was getting with God and getting quiet with him and saying, what's holding me up? That he revealed this to me, that there was something in my heart that was not quite the way I thought it should be. And uh, when he was able to get me to see it, I let it go. And I'm telling you, within three weeks, the weight began to come off. So I do believe that what we carry in our heart, the Bible says, out of the heart flow the issues of life. That's weight issues and all of the issues. Amazing. You are listening to Rise on the Voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. My name is Dr. Saren Haran, and today we're talking with Laura Pickett, who is the founder and CEO of Laura Pickett Ministries and the Pastor's Wives Empowerment Network, co-pastor of Destiny Faith Church, co-founder and president of Pickett Outreach Ministries, a wife, mother, minister, author, psalmist, recording artist, and much more attended Spelman College. She has worked in corporate America for 17 years plus, now 30 years in ministry working, and has appeared on TBN in Atlanta and WATV, she has her own personal struggles to lose weight for 17 years, lost a total of 80 pounds over time. She is here to share her journey, discuss her commitment required, and how you surely can get over anything you will win. She is here today to encourage, inspire, motivate you, and change your mindset and help you get your confidence back. Now, Laura, we've been talking about weight And for those who are deciding after this pod, you know, after this airing (laughs) to Mm -hmm. to this is something I want to do now for those Mm -hmm. listening and they know they are ready to lose weight. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say to them? They're ready. They're ready. I would say, um, first of all, I think my book will be a blessing to them if they have struggled. And it's called Get Overweight. Yes. 12 Steps to Finally Win the Weight Battle. 
and win at life. And I say finally, uh, because that means that you're going to get over it and be able to maintain it. Many people lose weight, but then they gain it right back. Uh, So I would say that. Uh, I also would like to offer to your listeners, uh, if they're really serious about losing weight, I have on my website, laurapickett.org, a free strategy session uh, where I can talk to them for about 30, 45 minutes uh, to see if my program will help them and also introduce them to some of the products uh, that I have. I have a Get Overweight um, Facebook private page. And so there are a lot of things that I think can be a blessing to them. So they can go there if they're really serious and sincere. uh, I'd be happy to speak with them on a personal basis. I think that's a wonderful gift. Now, I want you to leave one critical piece of advice. Those who are listening, they have started a journey, but they just gave up. (laughs) Gotcha. They started, but they they gave up. I can't do this. This is too hard. (laughs) Well, I would say, first of all, get back on the horse. Get back on the horse. You know, uh, regrets are not good. There's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Let that go because that can be a weight in and of itself. Don't beat yourself up. Just get back on the horse. And I would say take it one day at a time. Absolutely. When you look down the road and you see 50 pounds or 100 pounds or whatever, that that can be difficult. One day, just today, I'm going to win. I'm going to win and stand on the plan. I'm going to win at exercise. I'm going to win and drinking water. Win today. And tomorrow would take care of itself. Now, any new books or project that you're working on that you want to share with our listeners? Well, I don't have another new book yet, even though I probably will be doing one about winning at life from the inside out. Uh, But I do have a book called Don't Miss Your Destiny. Uh, Because I do believe and I do think that this can be connected to to weight gain is when we're not satisfied with life, we tend to look to food. Uh, I think it's important to know why you put here. Everybody that is in this earth was sent here for a purpose. So don't don't uh, miss your destiny is an imperative book that I think will change your life. They can get that at my website as well. Wonderful. And I'm sure they could also visit the website if they needed to get in contact with you. Yes, that is correct. LauraPickett.org. Well, thank you so much, Laura, for being Uh here today. It was such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. It was so good being with you. (laughs) I'm Dr. Saren Heron. No matter where you are in your weight loss journey, with a change in mindset, determination, with the right encouragement, you will win. Despite your struggles, it is never too late to rise and decide you can do it. You have the power to accomplish anything you put your mind to. You can do it and get overweight. Don't let weight hold you back. You must believe in yourself. Thank you for listening to this week's edition of Rise, available wherever you listen to podcasts and always right here on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHBC.